day nine of our 20 days of training series here on YouTube. Today we are going to be learning weight. Weight is one of my favorite ways of establishing healthy dominance in the house as well as a general safety skill and command that every dog should know for basic obedience. Now, many of us have used weight at the food bowl before. We set the bowl down and then tell our dog to eat after giving them the command. I like to use this, like I said, to establish dominance, but in a healthy way. So you can use this to show your dog, hey, it's me and then you. And like I was saying, it's a great safety skill. Let's say we're walking down the stairs with a bunch of laundry. We don't want our dog to knock us down as we walk down the stairs. Or maybe we're going out of the front door. We don't want our dog racing out of the front door and running two blocks down the street either. So weight is a great way of teaching all of these things in one command. So let's get started. When teaching your dog weight, the best thing you could do to start off is putting a leash on the floor like I have here. This will be a visual barrier for them that they cannot cross. Now, I'm gonna have Kalua stand right here. And the great thing with weight is that it doesn't have to be the same thing as stay. Stay means stay in the same exact spot and don't move until I tell you otherwise. Whereas weight would mean you can do whatever you want. You can drink water, take a nap, play with your toy, as long as you don't cross this threshold that I've provided for you. So she's sitting naturally, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to draw a visual threshold and back up. Now, very important with this, if your dog tries to test the threshold, you want to just stand in front of them before they pass. This is your way of saying, hey, I'm asking you to do this. I need you to stay in this position. And you can walk back up if you'd like to just to reinforce, even if they're not testing it. And then you'll go ahead and release with whatever word you choose. You can say free, release, go, come, okay. I'm gonna say okay, so okay. Good girl. Another great way of teaching this to your dog would be walking into the threshold with them and then back out, reasserting, hey, I can go in and out of this threshold as I please because it's my house, whereas you have to wait here if I need you to. So I'm gonna have her wait. I'll walk back in with her. Okay. Good job. Now, once your dog is doing this reliably, not crossing the leash until you release them, then you'll want to start practicing this at doors, stairs, wherever, maybe the kitchen even, or the couch is a great one as well and you won't have to put the leash down. That being said, you certainly can if you feel the need. When practicing this at doors, I would say making sure that you shut the door in time before your dog runs out of it will be important, or at least getting in front of them in some fashion so that they know they can't pass that threshold until told. Once your dog is doing this reliably, you can start saying the word wait. So now, as you can see, I have just been doing this visual command, but Kalua does know this with just the words, so I'll show you what that looks like. Wait. So you can add in that word when your dog is ready for it. Thanks for joining us for day nine of our training series, and we hope to see you tomorrow. For Busy Dog's recommendation on training treats, toys, and more, check out the links attached to our description bar below. If you liked our video, a thumbs up would really support our channel. 
subscribe for more free dog training tips, and hit the notification bell to be the first one to watch.